God morning, darling. Morning. <laughs> he's not woke up. He's not waking up yet. But anyway, guys, uh, just to let you guys know, today is gonna be another busy day. Oh, can someone see LJ? LJ. LJ, can see uh, you, huh? Morning. You see, he's very tired. <laughs> and I said, this is the authentic style. Good morning, guys, from Sweden. And she left there. I want to just jump on to Facebook and YouTube live today uh, in the morning because I've never done any live streaming ever in the morning on both platforms. So, welcome. Today, LG. <laughs> Are you still awake or not? No, You're still no. sleeping. Yes, <laughs> okay, I want to usually what we eat and let me just show you. I always boil an egg. Hi. This is a Facebook and this is YouTube. So usually I boil egg and I like to uh, put butter and a bit of salt and a bit of pepper and I just smash them and then I put them onto this hi Tima and I'm gonna put this on the bread so usually that's what I do LG how do you like your egg you just like to crack them yeah but the, the omelette is quite good too the omelette you want to do the omelette no you the thing you do oh. usually do you mean that's, the one that's quite good for... mm. right. but today what do you want today just eat like this crack it. Yeah, yeah okay he just cracked so I'm going to show you guys how I usually eat my egg in the morning so usually egg one egg hi call you from australia right timma from singapore good morning thank you for the hearts so he usually have this honey honey for the tea and i need some too mm, you have to put it in i think the honey here is really what do you call that Take chop, chop. Hey, Sam, Siri. And let me tell you guys, this week it's a student. It's a national day. Ta -da. Mm, Tuesday it was national day. Yeah, Tuesday is national day. Was. Yeah, was national <laughs> day. And no, no. Uh, was it Monday? Oh, no, Tuesday. Tuesday. We were in this uh, Nalina's ball. Was it on Tuesday? No, right? that was on Monday. Was it on Monday? Yeah. You remember Monday I was on this ball? Ah, 2 p.m. here. <laughs> Jell Darwin oh. is here. Good morning, Jell Darwin. Yeah. So busy, busy day today. We're going to have so much things to do. You guys don't have any idea how busy we are. So another busy week. This week even much, much more busier. National day over, and tomorrow we are going to celebrate my daughter's student. Uh, yeah. Student. What is student in Sweden? Can you tell me? In, in Sweden, yeah, oh, oh, student in Sweden, mm. they leave school. The last day of school? Last or? day of school. And yeah. student is the last day of uh, the higher grade of school. You have the, the, the ground High school? The ground school, you, mm. you call it. Then you have the gymnasium yeah then you have the university but she's she's leaving gymnasium mm -hmm. mm. hi steven hi child Darwin. and this is the last year for my daughter in the high school so we are celebrating on monday you saw that she was with this really nice handsome guy that's her boyfriend uh and to, tomorrow we're going to have a Another celebration that is uh, it's like a ceremony, uh, official closing for all the students from the high school. That's the last day tomorrow. So we are going to the church in the morning uh, at 11 o'clock. I hope I can do a live stream so you can see how crazy it is. Everybody is wearing white there. It's really beautiful. Uh, I love to do a live stream there. If possible, LG. Mm. If possible. If possible. Uh, and LG, can, can I show them what you eat? He's 
He's having this. It's like a ham with chili. So you like that? Chicken chili. Chicken chili. Yeah. I want yeah, that. It wasn't that bad. It's eatable. It's eatable. <laughs> <laughs> So the egg is really, really hot. I'm going to slowly crack them. All right, I'm going to put them. Nice parent, you both. Ah, mm. LG is not my daughter's father, <laughs> by the way. Where's my little bowl? So, uh, my, oh yeah. So my daughter, uh, his father, uh, my ex-husband, uh, will be going there too. So uh, usually the day is really special. Usually they have this uh, closing ceremony at the church. It's like a very Christiany kind of. A bit Christiany, but not so heavy Christiany. Yeah, but after that, when the students are released from the church, they go bomba, right? they go crazy. They're gonna have music and they're gonna hop onto this. Um, Trailer, right? They have a trailer. Some of them have. Yeah. And what do they use? Some of them using car or what? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. what. It's I, I so understand. long ago that I had a student <laughs> in my family. It was about 15 years ago. Aha, uh -huh. that was your son, right? Yeah, your yeah, son. Okay. So, um, and usually... Uh, it's a lot of people, um, a lot of parents, and what they get is like some gift from the parent or maybe from friends to the student who is graduating. And after the ceremony, uh, my daughter is going to his her dad's place, and she will celebrate there with uh, my ex-husband. Unfortunately, he didn't want to celebrate with me, so... <laughs> <laughs> we are going to celebrate myself. Hi. I saw somebody on Facebook. Hello, hello, in YouTube. So, um, so this is what I do. I just peel the egg and it's a bit soft inside. LG, maybe it's better you do the, you just put some salt. So, yeah. usually some people, I don't know how you guys like it. I like it like this, not too hard because hard is like, you know, not so much flavor. So Asian, we prefer it to be a bit softer. Or maybe German people, they like that too. So what I do is I put on a bowl. And then I just use a fork. And I have some salt here. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle over. And then, it's like a mini cooking show. <laughs> and then some pepper. All right? Some. Some. Rather <laughs> much, I think. And then I have oh, some I, butter. I, I think I eat it like a bit. A butter, a little bit of butter. <laughs> wow, call you command, huh? Very large egg. <laughs> you think so? That is actually very small, it's not so large. So a bit of butter, right? So you just put them and then you just crush it. And then when you when the egg is a bit warm. When you crush it, the butter will melt. So don't worry, I will show you how it looks like when I crush. Sounds like... <laughs> so how do you like your egg? Tell me in the comment. Um, I like it caviar. You like with the caviar? Mm. Do you know what caviar is? So this is how it looks like. We don't have caviar at home. No, certainly not. Mm. So usually there is already butter in this. I usually will just put it Which? on my toes directly. I don't have to put more butter on my toes. So usually I just put them on top of the bread like this. And then I just eat them or uh, everything. So tomorrow it will be a busy day for us. We will be barbecuing in the summer house. Yes. Mm, and we invited some guests. My sons. His two sons and their family. So 
after the day, after the barbecue, my daughter will go to his her party. They're gonna have like what kind of party do they usually have? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know either. You never know. been to any. We had a drinking party when I was a student. Mm-hmm. We were really drunk. <laughs> You heard that we really were in, we were in town here in that mm -hmm. we call Boonstown. Mm. There was some of some of them. Uh, one of them had a connection, so we can use a, a what do you call a Boonstown camera, a small room. Mm. Uh, the place Boonstown is. Long ago, when people had uh, to travel to go to church, they come with with the uh, horse, so they have a, a place to stay in in town, mm -hmm. a small small room. So they they have built a a little bit of a commun community with small mm -hmm. small apartments, mm -hmm. just with one room mm -hmm. in tree, mm -hmm. and there they spend the night or the yeah. nights. And then they went to church, and then they went home. Mm. So we borrowed one of those chambers, and uh, drank a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> and they get drunk, of course. Yeah. That's when the the Swedish people like to get drunk on a graduation day. And hey guys, thank you for joining and thank you for the comment. Write as much comment as you can. <laughs> Tima, what are you saying? <laughs> Both of you hungry. make you hungry. <laughs> then go eat. <laughs> Hi, Femto. I saw this Benny just joining. Benny. Uh, Benny is from Fanfare. All right, guys. Ben, shout out for Benny. Uh, he is from Fanfare. Uh, he invited me to be the ambassador at Fanfare. So I have created a link below. Uh, you guys can go in there. And uh, basically what you do is to give me a heart on the video that I sent you. Mm -hmm. So I need more heart, right, to win this competition. And let's do this together, all right? Mm, you can add avocado. Yeah, of course you can. So uh, they are going to choose three videos which is going to be uh, uh, chosen by my people who watch the video and they, you can vote by uh, adding the hearts. So what you do is you go to the link that I sent to you, click onto the heart, then I will see who is the one who sent me the heart. And I have about 13 okay. hearts to, uh, up to date. I need more guys. If possible, please give me a one heart, all right? I just need one heart from you guys. Hi. Hola. Tima. Tima and Fanto, do you guys know each other? So, oh, the telephone is like, eh, 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 because these people are sending in comments from, on Facebook. Hmm. So, what are we going to do today? Uh. Oh, look at that. That's the bee I told you. That's the bee I told you. It's not a bee, right? No, it's like a it's bug. A bug. Yeah. yeah. There was, we opened the door yesterday. As you guys know, right? Sweden, the summer is quite... It's not hot here, the summer. Uh, it's about 18, 20 yesterday degrees. Yesterday was between 18 and 20 degrees. Yeah. The whole day. Mm hmm nice day it was sunny the sun was shining and and the temperature according to me mm. just a bit i would like it uh, uh, two three more degrees warmer mm -hmm. then i'm satisfied mm. we just need about 25 degrees celsius no, and we are no, having no, 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 no. too hot 25 oh my god 23 22 23, 22, yeah, you can go long, uh, without this long sleeve. Like today, mm. I'm wearing long sleeve, but they are very thin. LG, he go with this short sleeve because uh, it's quite, it's not that warm in the house. It's actually quite 
21 degrees in the house. Mm. So during the summer, mm, let me first bite you. <laughs> Can you explain the heating situation in the house in Sweden? How do you mean? Mm. We, you usually off the heater during the summer. Yeah. Uh, and the heater, it means the element that is uh, close to the window. So we usually off it so the house will cool down because it's very sunny, right? We don't need, and, we don't need any extra. No, yeah, we don't need any more heat. No. So what we do is just off all the heater and element in the house and then we have uh, uh, some window open a little bit mm -hmm. to let some fresh air come in. And by the way guys, uh, I've spoken to one or two of you guys. You guys were complaining about Singapore. You said Singapore is so warm and all that. <laughs> so guys, Move to Sweden. Move to Sweden, <laughs> all right? And we need people to move to Sweden, especially in Shalaftil. Shalaftil, they need more people to come yeah. and live here. Yeah. But before you do that, it is better... Make sure you have a job. So yeah, make sure stay. you have a job so you can support yourself, or you have savings, or if you want, you can buy B&B &B in the countryside and do a B&B, &B, right? Yeah. So, I think B&B &B can be a really good way to start a business. Uh, and also, but before you do that, it's always good to come and live in this country for at least one month before you decide whether you want to stay here forever. Uh, and, and I think you should try to live uh, uh, in the summer and Me. come back and live <laughs> in the winter. Yeah. So you see the difference. Because summer and winter in Sweden is not the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. The temperature and the... What do we call it? Uh, the daylight mm. is rather different in the winter. Yeah. The daylight is very short during the winter. It means that uh, during December, January, the daylight is extremely short. And even February. So during these two, three months, the daylight is very, very short. But when it is March, right? And that's where it gets brighter and brighter every day yeah. again. So during the summer, until about October, isn't yeah, it? You can say um, we had daylight around the clock in June. Uh, end of May and mm. and, and uh, a bit, bit in July yeah. here in Shleftio. Yeah. Then it uh, begin to get dark in the evenings. Yeah. But um, if it's dark in the evening, I mean about eleven o'clock until uh, one or two o'clock in the morning. Mm. Then in August, late August. It will get dark at about 9, 10, mm. 10. Mm. And start to get daylight again at 2 o'clock. Mm. November. It's dark in, in uh, about 4 o'clock. Mm. And starts to, to brighten up in about five, 6 o'clock. Mm. 7 o'clock. Mm. In December, uh, if you're lucky, you can see the daylight between uh, 10 and uh, 2 o'clock. But then it starts to darken again. What I personally feel about is that. Siri, can go down. Can you go down or not, Siri, please? Our cat is running around the table. It's you not allowed to, to do that. Come on. And Elsie is going to let her go out because Come on. she wants to go out. Come on. Come on, come, go. Yeah. So I, I think I always think that uh, it is wise to stay at a place before you move to another country. Uh, stay at a place and then see if you can manage by yourself. I always dream about uh, somebody telling me, you know, about Sweden before I move here or even get the opportunity to stay here for a while before I decided to move here. 
So I think it's really, really important. And uh, <clears throat> to do that, you don't come here like a tourist, but you come here like a local people. Uh, the reason why I say that is because when you come as a local people, you get into the local society. You meet local people, you hear their language, you see all the local places, local people go. And no, she's you know, satisfied. She's satisfied now. Yeah. And you know, uh, if you have a driving license, get a car. And you know what I always thought? I always thought that, uh, I, in fact, this idea was like a few years ago. Uh, it's just in my, the back, back of my mind. I was thinking... That too? Yeah. I was thinking, <laughs> hey, why not, you know, we create like a, some kind of uh, uh, test to live in another country mm -hmm. for uh, one or two weeks or even one month. And then you have all those tools that you need from a local people help and say, okay, I will give you all the uh, information about what to do here in Sweden, in Shalafdil. Uh And then like a GPS, you know, you put all the information in and then you have the car that you can uh, navigate where the shop is, where the cafe is, where to buy these clothes. Like, tools. Like tools, you know. <laughs> so I think it's really, really good. Petrol. Petrol. And I think, and, and how to find your place, how to make your way around. I think it's really, really important. Because uh, just like our Finnish... Uh, Mati. Ma no, just like our Finnish uh, tourists now who is yeah. staying in our place, uh, we provide them the information that they need. Uh, when our guests come, this two Finnish guy, we were there last Monday, uh, Monday, right? And uh, was it on Sunday or Monday we went there? No, I don't remember. Yeah. So we went there and so they were asking... Sunday <coughs> was it? It was Sunday, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So they were asking, oh, where can I shop for, you know, the the things that you they can probably find in their country? Yes, they can. But he was out here. He had forgotten to bring them with him. So yeah. He, so he would like to buy some... Extra pair. Yeah. It is a wrist uh, saver protection. Wrist yeah. protection. It's like a band. Yeah. Uh, because he hurt his uh, wrist. Yeah, it's he want he has a, a a small problem, so he want to mm. be extra careful when he go training. Yeah. So he bend it up. Yeah. Tighten it real hard. Yeah. So, I think it's really, really important. Uh, our guests come here, not just... Hi, Geraldine. Mm. Not just uh, come here. Mm. Not for just breakfast. come here for, for, to stay with us. They come here with an intention uh, to just to know this place a bit. And what we always do is when they come uh, and they settle down one day or two <coughs> days, we'll go to our guests. Uh, and of course we make appointment and we go there and we sit with them with a big map right in front of us. We show them where to go, what to buy, uh, if they need certain things that you can't find in, uh, in your country, we will tell you where to buy. So you can navigate your way there. And the one thing good about our place is that we are not in the countryside. Mm -hmm. We actually are quite close to the city. Yeah. Uh, it's about 20 minutes to go by bus. Uh, no, bus takes a longer time because it goes a bit around. Yeah, during the summer it goes around. Uh, oh, and in the wind, it takes about 30 minutes. Then to go it, it will pass this village. Bus. But you can see it's like a sightseeing. Yeah. It's really beautiful because it passed by this river and you can see the river and you can see those small houses like the kampong, you know. and. It's very really cozy. I, I would like to take a bus that, you know, will bring me to different villages and then to town so that I can have a bit of sightseeing. That's what we did when we were in Greece, isn't it? We did that too. We yeah. took the local bus. Yeah. And then what we, we will do is that we offer tips like LG, he knows about training. He knows because these two uh, Finnish guests, they are um, quite active in training so one of them is doing power lifting so LG suggested to them a few gyms in town <laughs> there were so many gyms in town I couldn't believe it mm. 
So things like that, small things, uh, and we give a suggestion. And of course, if they want to join us for barbecue, or maybe uh, if they have nothing to do on the weekend, they could always book me to uh, like do like a cooking together kind of gathering so that they can learn how to cook Asian food or Swedish food. And I could uh, spend time with them. Uh, and I think it's really important, like when you go abroad, you like to meet up with local people, right? And to get as much information as possible when you're in another country, don't you think? Yeah. To to learn about about the people, about the culture. Yeah. How they live and so that's yeah. education. Yeah. Like when we were in Greece, uh, we met up with this local guide, Stella, mm. and she gave us a lot of tips about uh, how to live in, in Greece, what is the standard of living, the average um, income, income. And how's the political uh, situation there? And how is it like? You know? And then we get to see how people live, uh, where they sleep, and how they behave, which is really, really important. I think for traveling, it's really important that you learn. You having a pain on your neck? No. Huh? No, it's bust. Oh, uh, okay. No. So... I have to wake up. You yeah. have to... <laughs> So let me just show you guys, okay, what LG bought yesterday. Mm, I like this one a lot. LG, we bought the... I'm not advertising for this company, right? <laughs> I hope. But they have really good price. I thought this was really nice to show. This is what our guests get uh, when they stay with us. Uh, during LG, the summer. Yeah, during the summer. So summer. this is actually a summer blanket. Yes. Uh, do you have like different grade for different blanket? The yes, summer blanket. Yeah, summer and, and, and winter blanket. Winter blanket. Because uh, it, it can get quite warm inside, and that you don't want the winter blanket because. Mm, this is so soft. It will be too warm with a winter blanket. Yeah. In Greece, we had just the. Uh, what do you call it? The skirt. Or what the do you call it? Linen. The linen. Mm. Uh, that was enough, but here in Sweden, you, it can go down uh, mm. and be quite chilly sometimes, and then you have some some blanket. Yeah, this I don't know why this is darker and this is lighter. I don't know. It feels yeah, like yeah, maybe this is be, much because softer. you don't le you don't use the linen. Oh, okay. Then you can choose color. <laughs> so you see, you have white and you have a bit grayish color. Grayish, yeah, yeah. grayish. And it's really soft. Fifty and... shades of grey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Just one. No. One grey. One grey. One grey. <laughs> <laughs> so we all our guests will get new blankets and they have pillow. And usually we do not uh, uh, provide linen if you are staying for just one or two days. Uh, no, then they have to pay. They have to yeah. rent. You can yeah, rent, rent the 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 not rent the the blanket, but you can rent the linen, which yeah. is really cheap. How much is it? Are you charging? Uh, five euro. Five euro, so you can rent like yeah. between one, five and ten euro. If you're staying a long time, we 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 don't pay them. Ah, if you stay more than five days here in Sweden, then it's for free. You can yeah. use the linen. And also you can use the towel. Tons. So if you just stay for one or two days, uh, the linen uh, is not included. You have to rent. And also the towel. But bring your own towel. We have towels also. If you forgot to uh, bring it with you, you can also rent them at a really cheap price. So this is what we provide for our guests. And I think uh, the bed also, there are two beds upstairs. And right now we are really busy because we have another bed. We need another bed because yes. there's more people coming. So LG is going to try and fix the leg from the bed yeah. today. Uh, and we are going to do some, uh, we call that auction? Auction. Auctions. Auction. Auctions during the summer. So there are plenty of stuff in the house. And on the second level and the third level, we are going to convert these two levels into Airbnb uh, or holiday rental 
So we are busy right now clearing all the things that we don't need and we are going to have an auction uh, sometimes in July. July, yeah? middle of July. In middle of the July, yes. Yeah. So it's going to be in our, the garden. Uh, hopefully people will turn up, but we're going to keep you guys informed. And if we do any live streaming, we'll let you know too. All right, so this is what we have been doing this uh, few days. I was unable to do live streaming yesterday. So busy. You can't believe it. We have so much things to clear. And the house is like finally taking off. We were even forced to block a few days. Uh, so if you are unable to book from Airbnb or TripAdvisor during this time, it's because we purposely block it because we want to make sure that nobody uh, rent it so that we have uh, more um, free time. So we have some time to, so it won't be panic. Yeah, because <laughs> we have, have this... one day to cl yeah. clear out, then yeah. we, we, they, we wouldn't make it yeah. in one day. No. So we need a few days. Uh, I think we have cleared the day up to the 13th of June. Next. Next Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, right? I think it is. Yeah. So we have cleared. Uh, so you, it means that you are unable to book until Tuesday. Uh, but go and check it out on my um, website and find out where when is the date available. Uh, for me, uh, the whole of June is totally occupied. Uh, July is a bit open, uh, August is open, and if you guys uh, have been checking my calendar, I have to go up here. Yeah. Dump. he has to go and dump <laughs> <laughs> to the toilet, of course. So, uh, July and August is still open, so you can check it out. Uh, for LG's place in July is totally yeah, maybe a few days is open, yeah, right? Days. Yeah, there's a few days open, so you can still book. Uh, and But you have to make it quick because uh, the reason why I say that is because uh, this is when the hotter season is starting, the peak season. So when you see it available today, it might not be available tomorrow because uh, during this time, June, July, uh, August, uh, is the busiest time in this region. Uh, there is a, we call that the Start Fest, which is a really big festival. Uh, they have all the Swedish heaters, uh, artists is going to perform. And uh, I think we mentioned this early on, it's going to be in the evening, but the whole day, the event in the daytime is for free. You can go there for free. And the other one is a trash stock. It's also a big concert. Where they gather tour, uh, artists from all over the country, all the best artists to come to Shaleftil and they perform this free concert. Again, it's for free. You can watch uh, and be in part of the concert and it's like three days if I'm not wrong or two days. Uh, but the Star Fest is longer. The Star Fest is about, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's about 20, it starts from 29. 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 5 days. And we have another one. It's a food festival, which is in August. I think food festival start on the 28th end of uh, October. Uh, end of August, which is really, really big one. Uh, that one, I recommend that you think about it coming because the, that is the biggest uh, food festival in whole of Sweden. And uh, also, uh, the reason why... You should choose that month to come because it is where, you know, people are start harvesting the berries, like strawberries. If you are interested to pick strawberries, that is the time that you should come pick strawberries. And berries in the forest, you can pick uh, raspberry. Uh, blueberry is like towards September, so blueberry is slightly later. But you can still find them. If the temperature keep rising, the blueberry will come far early on. But don't worry, I will keep you guys informed because I will try and spare some time to go out into the forest and show you guys what kind of uh, food you can pick in the wall uh, in here in North of Sweden. All right, guys. I hope this guys this video is uh, helping to give you some 
updates on what we do and what are the opportunities that are open for you. I have a lady who just spoke to me this morning. She's from Manila. Uh, she told me, she said, oh, SD, thank you so much. You know, um, it's too bad, you know, Sweden is so far and it's very expensive for her because she's from the Philippines. And she says she really, really, really want to come here, but she don't have the money to come here. So, as I said, you know, you never know when our life is going to expire. And if you miss this year, this uh, month, this few months activity, you have to wait for another 365 days for the next season. Uh, do you have that chance to do that? I don't know. I wish you can so that we could meet next year. Maybe not this year, next year. But not everybody will give him the chance. We don't know when our life will expire, right? So, grab whatever opportunity you have. If I'm given the chance to travel, even for a weekend, I'll do that. Because, you know, life is too short to waste and wait. We don't know whether we can wait or not. So, for my age now, approaching 50, I'm trying to go to as many places as possible. The reason why we are doing Airbnb is because we want to save money so that we could travel other country and also get to know new people. And the reason uh, to meet new people uh, and how to meet new people is by creating this B&B opportunity so that we have more new friends from all over the world because we are quite social and we like to meet people. All right, so guys, I have to go. Uh, we are going shopping today because there are a big party tomorrow, uh, barbecue, and we have to shop. We are going to fix the house, the bed, and I am going to start uh, doing some styling uh, in the house for LG and maybe take a few more pictures because I have actually re renovated the, the kitchen a little bit and in the living room. Uh, and also, I'll try and see if I can pick a few uh, wild food from the forest and nearby and show you guys what kind of uh, flowers and what kind of wild food we have already here. Uh, this week is blooming everywhere now. It's like very beautiful. Uh, you could see yellow patches of dandelion already all over the countryside. And I hope I can do some nice uh, video or some pictures for you. And uh, if you are new here, follow me at Facebook and YouTube. And thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube. A lot of people have been subscribing lately. So thank you. And it's Friday tomorrow. And we'll see if we could do another live streaming uh, for tomorrow. Alright. Thank you. Bye-bye. LG is coming out or not? Mm, no. <laughs> Are you coming out? No. You yeah. want to say bye bye to our no audience? Mm. He's coming. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. Yes. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. And.